Well, first two matches went uh, flew by, and then the third was a long one, 81 minutes. What will happen in the fourth? This is the men's singles match between Singapore's Loke Nyu and Anthony Sinisuka Kinting, second seed from Indonesia. So the first round matches for these two. The winner will play Ling Chun Yi, Chinese Taipei. Just beat Thomas in the bottom uh, just a short while ago. Both of the popular players. And, uh, look at you, certainly these parts. It's a lot of support. It's a tough one match against Ginting. Mental fortitude at times, been up and down. Look at you on his day, it could be anyone. Getting you know, one of the world's best. This one could be intriguing, Chris. Yeah, again, we've got two very evenly matched players. Um, you've got two in the world against nine in the world, and it's an incredible first round tie. Head-to-head -head is in favour of Ginting. He's won four of the six, the last meeting at the Asia Championships. That was in the final. And he won that actually very comfortably. Ginting chooses the faster end. I mean, the toss also becomes very important, doesn't it? Candy, yeah, with which end you favour and which end you want to start down or on the other side of things, which end you want to actually finish up on. So look at you, we start with first from uh, Singapore. He was actually born in uh, Malaysia in Penang and moved to Singapore as a young boy. Where he honed his skills. Uh, he's now ninth in the world. He was as high as three just over a year ago. And of course, famously won the World Championships in 2021. That really put him on the map. Looking to uh, sort of recapture that glory. 27-year-old Ginting is 171 centimetres tall, playing at his highest ever ranking of two in the world. A bronze medalist at the Olympics in uh, Tokyo. He has a chance to improve on that next year. Men's singles, he got a silver at his own Jakarta Games. In Ready the to games play. Then. And in terms of his World Tour titles, he has won six of them. Most recently at the Singapore Open earlier this year, we beat Anders Antonsen, finished runners up at the Indonesia Open. Those are his two best achievements in 2023. As for looking apart from the 
world champs as we see Huang Zimun umpire. And so Archie service judge we saw earlier as well. He was runner up at the Korea Open this year. He's also won the Thailand Masters in 2019. He likes to play fastest, as does Ginting. Yeah, we've got probably the two fastest men in the world. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, yeah, it's going right, to definitely be a quick encounter, as in Singapore. with speed yeah. on the court. Which, and in on left, theory, is, am I right in saying, Chris, that they would prefer the end that Ginting's on right now, in theory? You to be honest, I wouldn't know exactly, level. depending upon how they're at a feeling. I mean, both, right. both yeah. players with, the, with raw speed, they can probably right. handle playing at both ends. But it's going to be such an evenly matched encounter. One, Look, Andy with first point on the board. points are kind of almost like looseness aren't they as you try to get used to things well it's so important the quicker you settle um the sooner you feel comfortable to move the shuttle around play confidently so important contrast already with how quick these players are coming. Yeah, and the net's going to be such an important factor in this match. We've already seen some really nice net encounters. I think we've had three overhead mistakes, just both players just getting their timing overhead, just when there's that drift and the lift goes quite high, it is mm. so much harder to time it because the shuttle's just moving that fraction. Either towards you or away from you, or sideways as well as the drift is going sideways. Would appear, low can you? Well, he was in a dominant position there, wasn't he? The Singaporean. Yeah, we, most of the rallies so far we've, we've seen end with simpler unforced errors. And it is hard because these two guys, as I said, you know, they're probably are the two fastest in the world. And when you're moving at that speed, everything is a bit more complicated. I think that's why we see from both of them, at times, some simpler mistakes mm. creeping in. Hey, hey. It's uh, eliminated by Kento Momota. The opening round of Kumamoto Masters last week. Look at you. Three, four. As uh, Momota came off the back of winning the career Masters and Ginting was also out in the opening round to Wang Hong Yang, China. They're both wanting to try and put that right, but one of them will go out in the first round again here. Can take three in a row now. Side the line, just a fraction, yeah. So it's over four all. A lot of unforced errors so far from both players. I think still just settling, getting used to the conditions, mm. the drift, and even more important, as you said, you know, one of these two players, two in the nine and sorry, two in the world and nine in the world. You know, one of them's going to go out first round, mm. and this will be the second first round in a row of, of tournaments. They will have gone out, whoever does lose today. So 
this year alone, Ginting has had three first round exits Five, and two four. second round exits. To me, that just shows the, the depth of men's singles. And he's world, yeah, he's world number two. Yeah, <laughs> and it is men's singles. The depth is incredible. You can be mid 30s in the world and you can still be a really, really good player. So that's one of the main things that's changed over the last four or five years of all, all events, all disciplines. The depth in mm. each each one is really, really improving. Look at you, meanwhile, has had uh, five first round exits, four second round exits this year alone. Big fraction of luck there. <laughs> Even as coach, yeah, yeah. And so having a big smile because you don't see that very often. <laughs> Anthony's trying hard to not, not have too big a smile on his face. I think it came off the very top of his frame, turned into an absolutely incredible shot. <laughs> you got to see the funny side of it, right? <laughs> yeah, not if you're not, not, the not that happens to you, <laughs> but yeah, if you're the player that it happens that dishes out that bit of fortune, definitely. out of 28 matches 49 matches won 28 lost in the opening round of tournaments on the world tour Seven, six. as you'd expect probably and, uh, we're getting 87 wins 44 defeats in the opening round Thing we've seen with both these players they can there's no doubt about it do absolutely incredible things and their speed is such a weapon but both of them do have a slight tendency to make some cheaper mistakes and i think we've seen that already that a few of the points have ended with maybe where they're forcing it maybe where they're trying something just a fraction too good it's also so early on in the match still getting used to the the conditions out here, making sure that they feel good. Myself personally, I'd always try and early on in a match get through some longer rallies to make sure I felt really comfortable playing, right. you know, every shot and moving the shuttle round. Net shot there by Anthony. Seven. Took it early, nice, nice spin. Made it very hard for Logan Yu to be able to control it. Just beyond low from uh, Ginting. That's where when you got the drift with you, it no, just so feels like as your opponent that the shuttle's moving away from you, it keeps going. Mm. But it's incredible control from Anthony to be able to control that punch, that firmly push shot into the corner. Because it's easy to push that out when you're going that flat. Because the shuttle kind of keeps traveling, it doesn't really stop. <laughs> Oh, wonderful from Ginting. Oh, he did brilliantly, didn't he, earlier? Yeah, but that neck, I mean, that neck change was phenomenal. <laughs> Yeah, 
fokus awal fokus very tight at the moment between these two Placement here. Rantony, slightly short lift, Loke and you. Played six Indonesians in opening rounds, won four of the six. That's getting challenged. Incredible speed from Lokan Yu in that rally. And he starts to get Anthony in trouble, he then injects phenomenal speed. that fast it almost looks like he's hovering <laughs> feet don't even look like they're touching the ground you know, players often talk about how much coverage court Challenges coverage he has how quick he is one charge remaining from moving that fast you have the uh, the advantage of taking the shuttle early when you take the shuttle early it gives your opponent less time so it makes everything much harder for your opponent Good as that. Yeah, brilliant little hold. Bit of deception. Totally caught Anthony by surprise. Game one, and the Ginting leads by just a solitary point. Placing balik. Nah, jadi kalau kamu udah siap dibalikin di itu ya lebih cepet ini. Makanya depannya kalau bisa ketiga sini. Nah, ya, jangan semuanya dibuka, disilang dikit. Gak apa, udah bener. Ya, ayo tuh. They're already talking about the third game there. And don't worry, be you'll be ending on this side. Sometimes they just give your player that bit of extra confidence that they need. So they can almost try and relax a little bit more. But, yeah. So I do feel neither players really quite settled themselves in. It's, it's been a quite, um, as you would expect, it's frantic with pure speed, but mm. neither player feels, looks like they've really comfortable with that. Okay, maybe I'm just getting proved wrong there. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, that was, very, very good rally for Anthony there. Calm, composed, worked the rally, gets the short lift, and then incredible placement on that attack. When they're in full flow, their jump smashes. Something to behold. That was well worked, wasn't it, that one? Yeah, great, relentless pressure. 
from Lo Ken Yu. See that Anthony's racket not quite ready and then and just keeps the pressure on. Just going back to the point you made. Oh, and so the, the most integral thing for me for a coach, it well, not the most, but a very important factor is to make your player feel as relaxed, as mm. comfortable, as positive, as motivated as possible. And whatever that takes, and each player is different, and you have to find the key to the puzzle, which, you know, whatever the player re requires, and each player probably is different. And this is where a coach has such a difficult task because they have to be adapted. It's to tailor that, right? Exactly. Yeah. A coach can't just be. You know, I am A, and right. this is how I'll do it. Because My way or the highway. Exactly. For, for me, if, if a coach does that, you can't get the best out of the player because okay. the most the integral part is how the player performs in the tournament. Yeah. And if you're talking to every player in exactly the same way, but, you know, player number three really struggles with that, let's say, direct approach, go, go. it's not going to help them. It's some, some players need an arm around them. Some need to be told in their face, but yep. it's so different, isn't it? It's exactly. a personality thing. Yeah, and this is the thing, and you have to find what is the, you know, how each player wants to be and the other unique thing is some players think that they want a certain style ah. but they actually don't realize they don't and i know that sounds strange but in the past i've coached players who have advised me that they want a certain way and when i've coached them it's been very apparent that actually another way would have been it's not it's not at all what they want they sometimes a player will tell you what they think you want to hear ah. whereas the more you then get to know the player the more you can actually understand them and finding the correct solution right is the key and this is why some players don't always perform at a younger age because it takes them a bit longer to understand what they need and how to play and how to adapt and what's right for them <laughs> sheer phenomenal <laughs> speed and it was an amazing Jeez. net from anthony but then the lift Flo Ken Yu was actually very good, but the speed went... And Anthony Jinting, when he comes forward, he's literally like a speeding bullet. He makes it look easy. I mean, because both players are so fast, they're almost, you know, neutralising each other in regards to... They yes. don't look that quick, but they are. I mean, this is two of the fastest players in the whole world. Yeah, I, th I think, you know, watching on the screen and... Even where we are, I mean, it's, it's very different, isn't it? They so we fully appreciate. It's almost like if you want to talk about a superhero, you've got Superman against Flash, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yes. And and the, if they were to have a, a speed contest, they both probably don't look that quick because they're as quick as each other. But these guys are so fast. Moving from the back of the court to the front of the court that quickly. It's so much court you're having to cover. And you've got the reactions as well to what your opponent's doing. How quick you... Turn it back. There you go. Case of point. Yeah, and that was a lovely reverse from Loken Yu in the forehand corner. And he gets up here. Played to perfection. Sets up the comfortable kill. Superb rally and a brilliant winner there. Yeah, the, the quality of the game's definitely, definitely gone up. Antinair steps in so well. He takes that block so early because his body weight's going forward as he strikes it. Strikes it at literally the earliest point. Played to perfection. But it, right at the start of the rally, looking you got his footwork all wrong. And for some players, that would obviously put you off. You'd be in trouble. He managed to correct it so quickly to get himself back in the rally. Had a two point lead in a while. That's where Ginting finds himself. Ginting there just exposing his opponent, really stretching Loken Yu, the full width, the full depth, the full length of the court.
Dia mau buat view lari, 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 lari. So after you focus the next shot. Cross, cross, especially. level there from Anthony Jinting incredible uh, edging away this there this from how low yeah. just holding, holding it and it, it's yeah. the speed at which he moves into it as well that's deceptive Five ahead, Gintik. See, Jinting was chasing his backhand, just turns it to his forehand. Yeah, see him coming in, brilliant turn. It's a wrong foot. Anthony Jinting is, is a very, very, very difficult thing to do because he's so quick. His agility, his change of direction is so fast. position here again take So that means we have five game points here for Ginting. So first game is done. It was very, very tight until about 14 or 15 all around there. And then Ginting surged ahead. Tarok-tarok aja, ya kan? Tatin terus. 
Gak mati gak mati Kalau dari belakang Kalau duduk jauh banget Turun ya Turun Tapi ada tekanan Jangan ngambang Tek gitu Dia, dia ragu di sini Nah di kondikannya dia gak enak nah, Jadi gitu Pas kena kencang Kalau enggak panjang So to the second game. Lovely from Look at you, but he's missed his mark there. He actually did really well to recover. Quick again. This is well, they played at the uh, Asia Championships. It was a very different sort of match, very one sided. That was their last meeting in the final in uh, Dubai. And Clinton won that comfortably 21 12, 21 8. Factors won his last four in a row, dating back to the Singapore Open last year in the semi-finals. Okay, news home tournament. All have been in straight games, by the way. Once have these two ever gone to three? That was a very first match. <laughs> that was, by the way, was in 2014. Since then, it's been straight games wins. Shot there from Gintik. Yeah, incredible precision on the overhead. Lift fractionally uh, short, but still so accurate. Even got a nod there from Logan, you, I think. <laughs> yeah, he seems to be quite appreciative of his opponents and stuff. He seems to be, yeah, he seems to be such a nice guy. Very respectful, very polite. Almost seems too nice a guy. Yeah, that's actually been something that's been uh, said. You know, it's amazing to see the sportsmanship he has, and you know he's achieved so much success. But it's, it is nice from an external point of view when you see he seems to be such a nice guy achieving success, and he's done amazing things already for his country, Singapore.
way that badminton, I think, is just growing and growing in, in Singapore. Yeah. Part of that has to be down to the phenomenal success that Loki News had. And obviously, going back to the Worlds in 2021, winning the Worlds, what a result for what is a you know quite a small country, Singapore, to have a world champion. It's phenomenal. Yeah, it was uh, something that dominated the headlines uh, back then. You've got a very special welcome back. When he came back to Singapore, got quite the reception. And he regarded it as the uh, the biggest achievement since an Olympic gold medal in 2016 for a swimmer. And to win a badminton world championship. Right up there. Trailing here against Ginting, who's been one of those who's got a very good record against him overall and senior level, 4 1. Just some of those, the, the way he was defending and then turned it around. Yeah, I would say in that rally, Ginting had control more so, but then the shot there. Mm. Obviously too loose, but incredible defense. And that's how rally can almost turn on its head. You can be controlling the rally for the majority of it, and it only takes a shot or even two shots. And the whole momentum of the rally and who's in control can change. Oh, again, well constructed. Yeah, he worked the rally well, and it was the cross-court forehand that set him up. Really good quality, I think. Jinting thought it was going to be a a shot down his backhand, so he just covered a fraction of his backhand side, and in the end, quite a comfortable put away for Loka and you. It's gone long. Wembley's going against the drift. Didn't take. Seems to be the spring in a step now, doesn't it? Look at you. That's the thing when you start to get the feeling of what's happening, of where the shot was going, and you, you get into your rhythm. You're, let's say, even a quarter of a step guessing correctly or moving correctly or anticipating correctly. It makes such a difference. You look to be in trouble there, Ginting. Uh, sorry, uh, look at you. Yeah, I would agree, and defended incredibly well. This is the thing now, it's a little bit more difficult for Ginting to be able to get through the defense of Lo Ken Yu. He's turned out oh, nice, he's nice little run here for Lo Ken Yu. No, six. six in a row now. Excellent run. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's one way to end the run, isn't it? Seven, it's just phenomenal explosive <laughs> speed. The explosive power he has is quite, quite astonishing. Attempted flick serve there. The thing is, he can work. You can work very hard physically to improve certain areas of your game. You can get quicker, you can get stronger, you can get more explosive, but it's only to a certain extent. And obviously, quite a lot of that naturally is. Anthony is just so fast. He really is. I'm sure he obviously works very hard on it as well, but naturally he is so explosive. His spring, his power, his push-off is so quick.
after some of the work he did earlier in that. I think he might be disappointed. It looked like he almost just fractionally pulled out of that net shot right at the end. The level of the match has definitely risen. Again, some incredibly grueling long rallies now. sort of uh, similar isn't it except in reverse now which tight but it's the play on this nearer end who's just in front as it was in the first game doesn't make it over at the interval, let's look at you, who's in front by three. McGintink has won that first game. the match uh, we've had so far here now in the uh, last one the last game they were pretty much on level times till about uh, 14 all and then getting accelerated Let's see what happens here that's in that's good this is the thing at men's singles, you've got to have the ability almost last second to change your mind, because if you're hitting a shot where your opponent's going, you have to be able to almost just hold it a fraction and then change your decision, move the shuttle to a totally different part of the court. What a lift off that net cord. point of the last 11 that Ginting has won. Again, skimming the neck cord there. We've had two neck cords in the last two rallies. Ginting. Incredible control. Brilliant placement there from Okenu. He read it. Read it was going up the line. This one here just reads it. He's ready. Turned his base, his position, his feet. It's so important, you have to predict where the shuttle's going. You've got to try and anticipate. See, you're on it early. Good judgment there from Anthony.
This is the thing now, in that rally, Loke you did a pretty much full Superman dive. And he was up in the blink of an eye. That's his, his recovery yeah. is incredible. So Jin Sing there, absolute full stretch and just slightly slips. How much do you guys practice that, like the diving and then the bouncing up? Well, myself never. <laughs> um, no, I think singles players, they will have to uh, practice it just so it's smooth because it's right. integral now, in men's singles especially. Yeah. You know, you're having to cover that much court that you have to be able to not just play the shot at full stretch pretty much mid-air, but you've got to get up, you know, in the Ready for the blink of an eye. Yeah. For me, I would have probably asked my partner to get it. <laughs> or, or, um, but it doubles just because it's slightly less court to cover. You will still get it, right. but if you're up a fraction slower... You have at least the insurance of a, a partner, partner. to try and assist yeah. with you know, getting the next one back. But now, this is why, you know, he's almost got the Superman dive, Logan. You is full stretch diving back in up the air, again. yeah, and controlling the shuttle. Sometimes it looks like one one movement. Yeah, I mean, it's his, I think partly his calves, if you've got the size of his calves. Yeah, I mean, um, I know Victor Axelson has said he wishes he had low Kenyu's calves. I think a, a lot of players do. He's got incredibly strong calves, and it's definitely one of the reasons why he's so explosive and quick. So the pattern is the same for the moment. Nothing between these two. It's the business end. Now, coming up towards it. This is where Ginting was very good in the last game. So we saw her 14, 13. No, just in front. be getting to getting it over yeah it's a simpler mistake there but i think it's partly because in that rally didn't seem with everywhere he's defending so well so you do feel like you've got to play that tighter shot and the, the next one's got to be even tighter the next one even tighter and the longer the rally goes on you feel like well i can't get through and then you go for something a bit too tight possibly like that from low can you and you make a simpler mistake as I mentioned, was where the last time that they were level with each other in game one. And then Ginting went on a five-point run, which took that game away from Lowe. Let's see what happens here. He did well to get that back. Ginting was so low down, but... Never going to be high enough then for Lokin Yu to put that away. And that's a difficult thing, I think. Anthony could feel that Lokin Yu was chasing forward and he knew he had to lift, but he was in so much trouble. He's taken it so late and against the drift, it was so hard to actually get the shuttle away. <laughs> Bounces back immediately, Ginting. Been a real point for point tussle since mm. the midpoint interval. Nothing really between the two players. hard the end that Anthony's at because he's hitting these net shots against the drift that's why a few are going in the net because it almost feels like it's coming back on his side <laughs> enough on that to take it over 
A little bit of fortune there, a really good time for Loke and Yu. As you can see, if it hadn't been an Eckhorn, I think Jinsing would have had it fairly comfortably. Similar. Good placement on the attack from Anthony. Reminder again that these two in their senior careers against each other have never gone to three. It's always a first. It's always a first. Might well be here. Hey. Just a point in it. Remember, he was leading by three here, Ginting. Uh, low, who was in a good position against Ginting. Good pressure here from Ginting. Just high up the court, having a higher base. Taking the shuttle early. Now just a point in it. Yeah. Oh. Sheer power there from Ginton. Quick as well. Yeah, again, taking everything early. High base again. He's high up the court. He's taking that early. Great block. And then he, Loken, you has to lift that. And big body smash. So, having had three in a row, Low, now Ginting. He's on a hat trick of points. Ginting in front. Yeah, last few rallies for me. Ginting's definitely been a lot more aggressive. Higher base up the court, chasing forward, trying to get the net, get there early. Four in a row for Ginting. Incredible comeback at that point in the match. Just turn things around. That's been very good from him. in that rally, wow. The speed and then the, the skill at the net to play that last net that he played as tight as he did from as low as he did. That was an incredible net there. Even that clever shot. Sure. Zaloka News obviously waiting for the possibly the big body smash again. Thank you. Have to say the last four points, Anthony Ginting, he's proved why he's number two in the world. He's played some very intelligent, smart rallies. As part of those four, he's now on a five-point streak. 15, 18 down. And that is why you are world number two, right? You've just shown that mental fortitude. Yeah, and I think it was the way that the last three to four rallies, the tactical change. Oh. Higher base up the court, right. more aggressive, taking the shuttle early. Two match points here. Saves one. <laughs> 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 
Is there more to this? Well, Kintik, these two, mutual respect there. They've served us up an excellent match, haven't they? Yeah, incredible, and I'd say full credit there to Anthony. He turned that around. In the second game, he had a, a deficit and changed tactically, changed what he was doing. Raised his level up, and the way he finished that second game was incredible. He won six of the last seven points. He was trailing 15-18. And that has got to hurt a little bit for Loke Nu. If he's looking for any kind of consolation, it's the highest number of aggregate points he's ever scored in a losing battle against Ginting. That's five in a row now for the Indonesian. The second seed beats Singapore's Loke Nu. 21-15, 21-19. It's taken 50 minutes to do so.